Holistic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me here in the United Kingdom. I'm back. I'm back home where I belong, where I love to be. It's amazing. I have really missed this place. I, I knew I'd miss it when I went away, but I didn't know quite how much I would miss this place. And, you know, outside it's pouring with rain. We have Brexit. We have uh, all kinds of things. I've just walked through my town and I've seen some shops where I used to shop have shut down. There's all manner of change going on here. So, yeah, it's amazing how, um, how, you know, we moved to the other side of the world, which is what Jupiter helped me do some time ago. Jupiter kind of picked me up and put me here. And um, you can see it in my chart. It's pretty incredible that this is the place where I'm meant to be. But my first in-person video back is, <laughs> is going to be about Australia, amazingly, because on the October video that I've just done, and if you haven't heard your little mini report, I suggest you go and have a look. That's live. You can see what's going on there um, for you this month. So you'll get a little overview as to what's happening for you. But on that October video, I got a comment by one of you. Now I'm going to, I'm going to read out the comment and the username. So please listen up to this. It's a very long username. It's 270360, 270360. You've asked the question, when is the drought going to end in rural Australia? Could you do a weather forecast? Yes, I can. I certainly, I'm going to do that now. You've also asked again a second time on the same page, um, when is the drought in rural Australia going to end? When is it going to rain? And yes, I understand the need for these questions because I was just there for six months. I went in April. Some of you went with me on that journey. And yeah, I, I observed the fact that the rain is, is, you know, there was a little bit of rain in Sydney and you'd expect some because Sydney's on the coast, but out where you guys are, out where the farmers are, uh, wow, it's been extremely dry. So we're going to take a look at that. Now to this um, user who's asked these two questions, I'm drawing that out. So that's been asked um, on October 3rd. If we go back to a video I posted in July, you've asked the question there as well. Same number, 270360270360, that's the YouTube username. Could you please do a Vedic Astrology weather report for Australian farmers, please? How long will this drought continue in New South Wales? So that's quite specific there. Much appreciated and thank you. Um, if you click onto that video, the July video, and you click onto the replies, you'll see I've written a very lengthy reply. I, um, and this is all the research and this is all the answer that I'm going to put in this video. So you can stick around and watch this video or you can read that reply. In fact, what I might do is I might copy and paste this and put it in the description below so that you've, you've got it all here and you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So why is it so dry? Let's take a look at this. Now, as for, um, as for videos, I, I don't know how many people are going to be um, keen to to watch this I'm very happy guys to make a video for one person right if, if it's an important question as, as important as this is uh, I'm very happy if only one person watches it but this will be of interest I think to students of Vedic astrology um, to those of you who you know got a, quite a few Aussies watching so g'day to my lovely Aussies out there um, so the Aussies will be interested, I think, um, and those who are interested in farming, those who are interested in looking at the Rahu Ketu axis. This is another terrific little case study here for, for looking at that. So stick around if this interests you. If it doesn't, you can carry on and watch other things. I've got other interesting things on this channel, actually. One of the things you can do if you're not so interested in this particular topic, and I completely understand if that's the case, um, you can have a look at my song dedication videos. And I think some of you um, 
who are new to the channel, you may not know of some of the old content that I've done. And one of the things that I had a ball doing, I think this was last year or the year before, was I dedicated a song to each sign. And those are actually quite fun. So you can have a look at that. Uh, I've got other topics, all kinds of things, and um, you know, stick around on the channel. I'll have interesting uh, topics and concepts coming up. I will also have some coaching type material as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to welcome the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and stick around. There's, there's going to be a lot more. So um, for those of you who are new, I have come back from six months of being away. I've been away in Sydney, Australia. That's my place of birth, that's where my family is, and you know, it was time just to go back there and, and spend some family time, which funnily enough, the way I planned the trip is quite astrological in nature. So uh, I, think, I think it was, I'll say it's Saturn and Ketu that kind of took me back um, for the period of time that they did, right? So have a look at that, April to September. Those of you who watch this channel, you know there was certain retrograde going on at that time, and that's how I planned the trip. So going back, going back into the past. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, but yeah, basically I was in Australia and now I'm back and you'll see me in this room. I've got my camera thing flipped up today, which is a little bit distracting, but I'm going to try and learn the skill of filming and looking here while there's something going on up there. But it's quite handy actually, because I can see the time also Christina, thank you so much for your um, technology assistance and, and your support of this channel and the work that I do. And so many of you, you know, I'm drawing out Christina right now, but there are many of you who um, are so hugely supportive of me and the work that I do. And I really want to thank you. Um, means the world to me. And, you know, I, I just do this out of pure passion. It, it really is just a passion. I'm, I'm not at a thousand subscribers. I'm not earning money for this. I just I do it because I love it. And um, who knows, this could really turn into something. But, uh, oh, well, it, it kind of is in my life. It is the main thing, you know. And um, I am getting regular readings. I'm getting referrals. I'm getting, um, I'm getting a lot of interest, which is really great. But I, I also enjoy the slow growth of this too. And I am enjoying that it's taking time. Um, so I will be looking for some, say for example, part-time or possibly even full-time, I'm not sure, but I will be looking for some work in addition to this as well. I will keep you posted about my availability. Um, at the moment, I do have a couple of readings on and yes, it's keeping me busy, but if you book me, know that I will always let you know, or we can discuss beforehand timelines and timings and all that kind of thing. I never want to have the situation where, um, you know, I'm, I never want the quality of the work I do to drop. So you will always get um, the best out of me, right? Otherwise I'll take the website down or I will turn the buttons off as I have done in the past. Everything's back live now, but you know, um, I am prepared to do that as I need to. So if I have other work commitments and I have to slow this down, I will, but hopefully videos I'll be able to keep up. Let's see how I go. I thought I'd share some of that with you because I know quite a few of you are running your own spiritual businesses and working or are consider doing, you're considering doing that kind of thing. So I like to share with you that part of my journey as well. Because I think some of you are quite interested in that, um, you know, and I can definitely do videos about that as well, you know, that, that side of the journey and how that works. But let's get into this answer now. I want to answer the question, uh, could you please do a Vedic astrology, could you please do Vedic astrology for weather for Australian farmers please? How long will this drought continue in New South Wales? All right, let's have a look at what's going on now in the sky. So we've got Aries. We've got Aries up here. And I'm going to run it. Ah, yes, good. Good that I have the screen flipped up. See, this is actually quite useful. Um, 
I'm going to run it this way around. So here we're going to have Gemini. Just write Gem. I'm going to write Sag down here. And who do we have up here? We have Rahu. And we have Ketu. Now Ketu has been quite special this time because Saturn has been Saturn has been uh, conjunct, closely conjunct, right? They've, they've been together, they've moved together quite a lot. For, for some months they've been together. So this is 2019. Okay, this is what's happening now. What, what are we running here in terms of elements? It's fire and air. That's really what we've got going on here. So I'm going to draw a little bit of fire. That's my fire symbol, quite terrible, I know. And I'm going to draw an air symbol, which actually looks like, and I'm going to draw air here, but guess what? I'm also going to draw air next to Saturn. Okay, because let's not forget Saturn is an airy planet. Okay, airy and dry. Gemini, it's air. And this is actually the symbol for Aquarius, isn't it? And some people mistakenly think that it's water. I've heard people think it's water. These are water waves because it's the water bearer. That's not it. Aquarius is, um, it's an air sign. So, and what bears water? Well, air. Air bears clouds and, and rain and fog and all these kind of things. So that's definitely an air symbol. But why am I bringing this up? Well, this is going some way to explaining why things are so dry. So for you farmers out there, you're wondering, why is it so dry? Why isn't there any rain? Why, what's the problem? What is going on here? And this is a one and a half year transit. Um, it's been made particularly dry because of Saturn, right? Saturn has been in the mix here. So these two have been together Saturn and Ketu, it has made things really, really dry. Uh, I know that this is fire here, but yes, it's air and, and fire. It's, it's really made things, um, made things quite, quite challenging. It's also in the response that I wrote in July, another thing I wrote is that when we look at what, what's been happening over this last, so it's going to shift. We've got September 20. September, October 2020, it's going to shift, okay? But a year and a half before September, October, which is how long this transit is, look at all the problems we've had. I've, I've noted down just from, you know, the news, when I do recaps on the news that's been, look at what we've had. We've had problems to do with airlines and the fire element, okay? So airlines, we've had missile strikes, um, terrorism explosions, in New Zealand, if we remember that, and the fire element was very strong there. Um, what other airline type things have we had problems with? Well, well, we've had Thomas Cook crash, crash and burn. That's a pretty giant thing, and it's quite extraordinary actually. I used them to book my flight to Sydney. When I was coming back, when I was in Singapore, I was just feeling so lucky that um, my ticket worked because I know a lot of people had a lot of problems with that, and there were people stuck at airports um, and I knew when this was coming into effect and I did a video when this shift was happening coming in here and you can probably find that on the channel. I knew that we we're going to have a lot more travel um, and we've had a lot of more travel disruptions um, but I definitely said and I, that's right, I called it catch the Rahu bus, didn't I? And I said something about if you can catch a plane, that's better. But, you know, if you can catch a bus, that's good too. Just movement, you know, we've got a lot of movement happening. Um, but a lot of things to do with travel. And look at this. Now farmers are really struggling because there's just so much air. It's like, where's the water? There isn't a lot. And especially um, this airy planet here, Saturn, here in fire, you know, I mean, this is, this is not producing the conditions that the farmers of Australia would want. So let's take a look at another point I raised in the research notes. So I've got some notes up here, which I'm drawing on here. I'm getting back in the swing. Look at me. I was, you know, I haven't done this for a while. I think the last time I got out this little um, frame was 
at the beach when we went to Balmoral Beach. Wasn't that something? That was a lot of fun. And that's where I wanted to go on my last video. I wanted to go there, but then, anyway, I didn't end up going there. Right, so in my research, I wanted to see when are you guys gonna get the rain? So I've been able to explain why it's so dry, okay? And we're looking at about a year and a half of it being dry. So how, let me tell you. So we've got September, October, 2020. It's gonna change. There's gonna be water, there's gonna be rain. I just, I'm feeling it. I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, and I don't often make predictions on this channel. So this is a prediction video and I'll leave it live. And you know, if it comes true, that's great. And if it doesn't, you'll be able to see. <laughs> um, I'm always amazed, by the way. I met some clients when I was in Sydney. I went to Sydney and I went to Brisbane. I met clients in both cities. And I'm always amazed when people tell me, you got it right. You predicted all this stuff. And I'm just like, really? I, I, I should have a more, yes, really kind of persona <laughs> about this. But I'm telling you, I, I, I get surprised still and it's very fun and nice when you can make a prediction and it comes true and it's I'm not so into the predictive stuff I'm more into personalities and looking at emotions and looking at energies and looking at the build of a psyche and all that kind of thing that's that interests me a lot but um, but I do get predictive sometimes and this this is one of those times now we're back in 1986 so I want to come up to well, let's stay in 1986. So why did I switch back here to 1986? I started doing some research for the farmers to figure out, okay, when was it really dry? When was the last really, really dry time in Australia's history? And I found some research saying that June 1986 was a very, very dry time. So let's have a look what was going on in the sky then. Um, it's really very interesting. We have Rahu Ketu, Aries, Libra. Okay, so I'm going to draw my Rahu here and my Ketu here. So as you saw before, I had them going along this kind of axis here. Now, 1986, let me write this out. Okay, 1986, this was the situation. We have Rahu here in fire, and we have uh, Ketu here in air. Okay, so very, very dry, and that was June, right? Now, I was looking for, so that, that's a time when it was extremely dry, but I was looking for um, when did these people break the dry spell? When did it happen for them? So it, it's interesting because it got the driest just before. And if I, I'm going to scoot up on my software here and see when did it shift. So we're looking at about August. It shifts and it goes into, and I'll, I'll draw it up here. I'll draw the shift up here. So now 1986 June. Now we're going to have 1986 and we're gonna have, we're gonna look at August. Okay, so not long. Look at the shift here, August. But mind you, they had one, one and a half years at least of that kind of dryness. So June would have been particularly dry, but it shifts. And Rahu Ketu, hang on, goes into, so I've got Pisces Virgo. have a look at this August August comes along and we get this shift you know he's moved this has moved Pisces Virgo so what have we got here we've got water and we've got earth and when this happened I'm pretty sure that's when there were floods okay because we're crossing a Gandanta point Let's have a look here. Remembering the Gandanta principle, I, I thought surely that could cause a flood. So I googled floods New South Wales 1986 and discovered that there was a major flood in the area. And I've got a link um, to an article in the Australian Geographic where you'll be able to have a look and see, yes, there was 
um, you know, it says 10 of the deadliest floods in Australian history. Gosh, I mean, you know, we want rain, but we don't want a flood, right? And, and I do think some version of that could happen um, come September, October 2020. So now I'm going to draw the axis for you. The final one, let's have a look where are we transitioning from. So we're going to transition from as I said, Gemini, Sagittarius, and you'll see it's going to shift up just a little bit. So this is now we're looking at 2020. We're looking at September, October. We've got two, eight, Taurus, Scorpio. I'm going to put Rahu here. I'm going to put Kedu here. Now we're going to shift so we were Gemini, Sag here, and now they're just going to move, right? So they're going to move into earth and water and scorpionic waters. I mean, that could be quite deep and it could be a bit stagnant. It could, there could be floods. Um, so sep September, October 2020. Yes, farmers of Australia, you will get rain, um, but you might not get the kind of rain that you want. It might be too much rain. That is a possibility. Um, so I, I, I don't wish floods on anyone, even though I know you need rain and I, I want you to have rain. Um, we all do. You know, the, the farmers of Australia keep us all nourished and sustained. It's... Um, you know, nourishment, sustaining Taurus. It's this kind of springtime and crops and all these wonderful things, right? So um, sustaining and feeding and giving to us. And, and, and this should be, and one of the things I was thinking actually when I was looking at this earlier today was that this should be, whoops, that's coming off the screen there. Could I have that raised, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. So, yeah, I mean, look, I was thinking about this and I was thinking about the fact that Rahu is here. Perhaps there will be a lot more um, emphasis on farming, on technologies to improve farming, um, innovations and new ways of doing things. And, you know, th this could be pretty amazing for farmers, 2020, September, October onwards for a year and a half. Okay, so 1.5 years, right? 1.5 years, mm, you'll have rain. I do think there should be rain. And as I say, it could, it could be floods. That was the other thing I wanted to mention. Scorpio, uh, not Scorpio, Saturn. I'm still getting back into the swing of things. Um, Saturn here, he's away from Ketu, right? He's going on his journey. Good. Like, really good. He's not going to be drying this out the way he has been in the current transit. He's been involved and he's been drying things out. So he's away. So I'm quite confident that there's got to be rain. And as I say, in this early portion, when these are crossing the Gandanta point, so in particular here, the Gandanta point here, when this movement is happening in these early phases here, could be floods. So that's something that we've got to keep our eye on. And I will certainly, um, I think I've covered everything. Let me have a look. I will certainly, oh no, I haven't covered everything. There's one more point to make. Um, I will certainly be keeping an eye on this and we'll do another video. I can do another catch up video and link to this video and we can see, all right, was there a flood or was there too much rain? Um, I'll see how we're doing for time. Oh, it's just about to, it's just about to crash, but let's see what I can do here. There's one last point I want to make to the farmers of Australia. And that is, um, I'll just read out what I've written here. I've, I've got a note here saying, I wish, Sorry about that, camera got cut, as I now know why it does that. So hopefully I'll be able to get a new camera one of these days. I know that there are some, some more advanced cameras out there, like if I upgrade to a Canon D70 or something like that, it shouldn't do that. I'll work it out. Anyway, 
I wanted to read out what I'd written on my response last time, and this will be in the description below, I'll make sure it's there. But I've got a note here saying, I wish and pray for rain with you. Farmers are the backbone of this country. Without you, we can't nourish ourselves. And I think every Australian really feels that way. So I just want to give you my love, support and encouragement that please keep doing the amazing work that you do. Um, and I'm providing a link to Greg Braden. I say here, Greg Braden has given a wonderful method of praying for rain, pray rain. It's a beautiful story and I'll let him tell it. So, you know, that is actually a thing of manifestation. That, if whether you're into farming or not, you want to watch that video because you want to see um, how to get in tune with the universe, how to get in sync with nature and be with whatever's being given at the moment, you know. And um, I know this myself through the work that I do. I'm a consultant, you know, when I'm working in corporate land, that's what I am there as well. And um, here I'm a consultant, everywhere I go, I'm a consultant. And consulting work always comes in cycles and you'll have a big burst of something and then you'll have a lot of nothing. And we have to manage these cycles and that's just how it is. So it kind of feels like farming is quite similar, I think, because there are cycles uh, and there will be some dry spots. There will be some times where, you know, um, you're not able to do much. And it's, kind of, it's reminding me of, I watched this documentary on the plane, Bruce Lee. It was really cool. And he, I think he broke his, did he break his legs or it was maybe it was his spine. It was something very significant. He damaged something very badly. And he ended up uh, in bed for six months. And so he read Krishnamurti and he became extremely wise. And what I want to say is that, look, this is not a good transit um, until say 2020, September, October. There might be a lot of rain, but then there might be some good rain over a year and a half. But right now, until that transit comes, if there is no rain, um, hopefully you'll be able to build parts of your business um, or, or build skills or invest your time in, in some way that um, that's very useful and practical and that will help you. So I'm sending my best wishes to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and um, please do stay tuned. As always, if you have a question, I'm very happy to make a video, even if it's just for one person. So if you have a really great question, please do ask me and um, hopefully I'll be able to, to make my next video for you. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.